What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be cleaning some snake enclosures as well as checking which snakes are male and which are female. So I'll be showing you how I'm going to do that with a tube, snake hook and a probing kit. As well as I just want to thank you, all you new subscribers for joining. I really appreciate it. And there's so much incredible content in store for the future. So come along, let's get the mail Cape Cobra out. I know I just said he's a male, but in fact, I don't know what gender he is for certain. And that is why I am taking him out and checking. I'm pretty sure it's a male because you can kind of see the males have more long slender tails, whereas the females tend to have shorter stubbier tails from the cloaca. But I need to know for sure who is who. Okay, so he's there. I'm just going to use this snake hook to lift up the enclosure or the little water bowl. Hello, my little friend. There we go. He's nice and small coiled up there. Okay, so now what we are going to do is get this little guy and try and get him in the tube. So why this piece of tubing here is covered in red tape is because they tend to like going into something that is a bit darker than just like a clear tube. As you can see there, he's opening his mouth up and like, hey, leave me alone. So another technique I'm going to try is putting him in this little tub here. You probably can't see him quite nicely. But what I want to do, it just makes it a lot easier to tube him. I'm going to lift him up like this. Oh, nice bites on the tube there. I'm glad that is not my hand. And that is the reason I actually am wearing gloves. So when I grab the snake in the tube, I'm not coming in contact with any venom. Let's see if we can see any venom on there. Nope, I don't see anything. That could have been a dry bite, but then again, I'm not going to test this with my own flesh. Okay, there the snakes in there. As you can see, that's the little cobra in the tube over there. So now what I'm gonna do is put you on a tripod back there and my brother will hold the animal over here and I'll show you how I sex the animal. I am able to do it without anyone's assistance, but that requires me holding it like this and just, it's not as comfortable. So it's a lot easier doing this process with two people. So that is what I'm going to do because I have my brother at my disposal. Not that he's a disposable item. He's actually quite a nice guy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take the sterile probe and put it in a bit of lubricant. I'm using Vaseline as a lubricant just so it slides into the cloaca nice and easily. As you can see the snake has a nice long slender tail and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this the cloaca ventral scale and you kind of put it in there and you gently work your way down the snake's subcortical scales and there it stops. So you take that out and you can see that is definitely a male as it goes in way over seven scales. You gotta be very, very gentle with these snakes because if you push too hard, you are going to damage them. So this is not a tutorial. This is just showing you how I safely sex a venomous snake without having to neck it or put myself in any extra danger or harm. So just hold that tail over there. So now another important thing is to clean it off with something that's sterile and clean it with a disinfectant. So there we go, the probe is now cleaned and now we can put the snake back in the enclosure. I'm going to take it from my brother now as you can see, the snake has been slowly backing off in the tube. 
slowly it was about there so now it's backing off slightly because we're not putting so much pressure on it that it'll, it'll hurt the actual snake so yeah let's get it into its enclosure now okay so a easy way now to get rid of the snake well i shouldn't say get rid of but put it back in its enclosure would be to let it slide through the tube but i can see the snake isn't really wanting to slide forward so what i'm going to do is put it on the floor i know a hook is right next to me and then let it out like that now i'm going to get a hook you can see not a not a very happy cape cobra but a cute one nonetheless so just take my time with this little girl pick her up by her tail or this little guy because we know it's a guy for a fact now because we have checked and it's a boy okay so now what i'm doing is just prepping the next probe ready for the the small little female i'm pretty sure she's a female unless she's a tiny male there we go just leave it in there now we are all ready get the hook stick out and wear the gloves because she is very small and feisty and her tail is very close to her head so yeah we don't want to take any chances okay so in here is the little girl she does not have a name um let's just try and open this because i've added this wedge in between the glass isn't that easy to open okay so what i'm going to do is drop her in this bucket straight away as you can see she's gotten considerably larger since the last time you've seen her oh there she goes she darts off into that corner so now i gotta close this glass okay let's open the side oh no She's literally going back that side now that I'm opening here. The problem with having nice naturalistic looking enclosures is the snakes have many things to grip on and it's not super easy to get them out of the enclosure. But when you take your time, it is possible. So that's an enormous thing with working with venomous snakes is taking your time and not growing impatient. Because look there, uh, I just missed her. okay so we have her there we go let's put her into the little tub there now the fun part of trying to get her into the tube i don't think she'll be super cooperative as you can see super grumpy she's just scared that's all come on girl okay so in this case now what i'm going to try to do is put the small tube down the big tube and see if she's going to try get in there this way i'm sure it's not going to work as planned but let's try she's exploring it and there we go that worked just like that so sometimes it just takes a bit of creativity and a bit of patience instead of necking these animals and endangering yourself. So let's, let's check if she's a she. Okay, so there we go. Got a bit of lubricant taking the snake's little tail. So this is a smaller probe. As you can see, she's already opening up her cloaca there because she's wanting to squirt me with a bunch of poop so what you do there is you just basically put some lubricant there You've got to go very slowly and very gently and there we go that's basically like only going two or three scales it's such a small minuscule thing that you've got to be very careful and very gentle so i'll show you again on the other side go in there and as you can see if we go over there that's two scales down so it only goes in two scales that means this is definitely a female that's super cool to know so i was right and now we can let her go back into her enclosure i'll take this over from you 
there we go. So sometimes that creativity just helps you out a bit, putting the bigger tube and then the smaller tube. But also she went through that because this is covered with tape, so it looks a little bit darker and more secretive so she can actually hide in that little hidey hole. But what a cute little snake. Not, not the most yellow and vibrant of color Cape Cobras, but still a beautiful sassy cobra. So now I'm wanting to show you how you can just release them and let them slide forward so they can go straight into the enclosure. So you ready? Watch this. She's going through. I'm holding Africa's most toxic cobra right in my hand there. And let's close this up a little bit. Sorry, girl. And boom. There we go. Just like that, she goes. How easy was that? That was pretty cool and quite safe. I never came in contact with the bitey end, so that's the good way to go. Let's take out some other snakes because we need to clean the cobras because they are dirty. Okay, so now I'm taking out Octavia, the angry, the meanest, and the most feisty. Oh, that sound is horrible. Feisty little cobra. So let's get her out. As you can see, look at this. That's a cobra. They are incredibly messy snakes. Each time I clean it, just gets worse and worse. Let's clean this enclosure. Boom! And I, I'm also named Jimmy. Jimmy knows what you give me. Jimmy take paper towel, clean the camera, and he, he, take, he take this, and he pump it up. This is a F10 disinfectant, so I'm just spraying it on here, so I can clean the glass. Oh, look at that. Sad to say it's only gonna last for like 10 seconds once the cobra's back in its enclosure. But it's worth it. I love these incredible animals. And look there. A nice lot of cobra poop. So you must be careful because these may contain, contain fangs. As you can see, there's a bunch of hair in here from the rodents because they cannot probably digest the hair from the rodents because it's such fine particles of what's that stuff your nails are made out of keratin that's basically what hair is made out of also so it's very difficult for them to process i don't see any fangs in here because cobras have very short fangs but that doesn't mean they can't bite you that's not that that was epic <laughs> I literally threw this and it landed right in between the camera and the microphone. Uh-uh. I know your plans. You are backing up because you want to. There we go. The snouted cobra, but the banded face snouted cobra. Aren't you pretty? As you can see, when I'm holding the snake, I'm uh, keeping an eye out on basically everything because she's trying to get back up onto me as well as I'm not pinching her tail I'm letting her hook onto my hand because it makes them feel a whole lot more comfortable and yeah let's get her back in her enclosure because she doesn't want to deal with me any longer boom 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 there she goes into her little hide he's grabbing and hooking on everything he can find and there. So as you can see, when I first got him, he was quite cantankerous. He's chilled out quite a bit, but don't let that fool you. He'll still try and bite you. I just got to not let him climb the hook. <laughs> so there, there you have a little takeaway of my brother sneezing. But let's put Murphy in this tub. There you go. He's going to try climb out. I can feel that now. So I got to wiggle his tail and... There we go. So, many of you may think you cannot be allergic to snakes. We have just discovered, however, that is not true. Seems like my brother is either allergic to snakes or allergic to, you know, filming for me. So, one of the two, I think he's about to sneeze right now. Oh, he's allergic to filming for me, that's what he said, so. But I appreciate it and I'm sure you guys appreciate it too because without that we wouldn't have such nice content. They're pretty cool snakes and you don't have to act like whoa this is all dangerous and scary and no this guy is a cobra but he's probably not going to hood for you so let's go back in your enclosure. 
close this side up. Voila, my friends. That concludes it for this week's video. My brother is showing that I need to close that enclosure. I did not forget. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Guys, go check out top link in the description. I've got a new channel that I just created for podcasts. Please go subscribe. You're going to really enjoy the content that I'm going to post on the podcast channel. So that's it. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to go out, learn, experience, buy, and live it. Cheers. Hey.